Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up to everybody out there on YouTube on this lovely Saturday morning. Yes, it is the weekend and like myself, I hope all of you are excited about that and that spend some time with your family and friends and have a little bit of fun and leisure time. And I hope all of you guys are safe out there, remaining warm and doing well. And thank you so much for dropping by Super Hubby Review. And I also thank you in advance for subscribing to my channel. It is much appreciated. And again, uh, I created this channel because I love to do, I'm just your average consumer like many of you and i love to do simple uh basic reviews on things that i purchase for myself or for my family and uh, anything that i can get my hand on or anything that i deem of pretty good value and uh you know uh i always hope that something positive or informative will be said or mentioned that will make a positive impact in any purchases that you make and uh, I really just try to keep it simple. Yes, simplicity is the, the policy I go by. I'm not trying to overcomplicate anything. Just your simple down-home review. And when many of you come across this channel, I want you to feel that. Nothing fancy, just your basic. I'm just like the guy next door. And that's what I want this channel to be about. Some good, positive family content and things of that nature. So, um let's go ahead and get into it y'all today i am going to be reviewing this hover flow hoverboard um you know cost price i believe was under a uh, 118 dollars give or take and shout out to walmart yes wally world for having this available and uh hover flow real uh, voyager really uh did a really good job shout out to them for making a really good hoverboard for the kiddos to have some fun and to enjoy i will say this i am very very pleased um with this um hoverboard uh from voyager really really nice hoverboard i'm glad i was able to finally purchase this for my fan for my uh, daughter uh, i did get pink she she likes that and she loves this this hoverboard here so these are the things that i love about it very easy easy to uh maneuver nothing um nothing too too over complicated and uh you know a lot what i love about it is that it was available and also i just love the way it looks man like i want to just to give you all the basics of it and start from the top i love the way it operates very smooth very smooth the way that it moves and um i love the fact that when you turn it on here there's a button on the back of this and there it is right there this little button thing here right there you're gonna it turns on like this and i love that right there you know and I love those little lights there in the front. That really stood out to me. It's pretty cool if you were to, if your child was to like ride around this in a house that, you know, it's kind of dark on the inside to see those lights light up like, like that. I love that. And one of the things when you first get this right here, you want to definitely read the directions because you want to have this calibrated before you actually start uh, getting on it and stuff like like that. Just little simple things like of, of that nature. This part here that you see is the charger port there, okay? So you put your little charger in here and charge it. So it does come with a uh, charger plug here that you can use and it maybe takes a few hours to really get it fully charged uh, if, it, if the battery is dead. Maybe three or four hours to have a full charge. So it does come with the charger for those of you who uh, want to know that. These little buttons, these little buttons here, uh, as your child stands up on this, 
uh, and re remember reading the the instructions are crucial okay because even now <laughs> there's some things that we're still learning uh, about this Voyager which is why uh, I'm just going to talk about the basics of it because uh, my daughter is still learning how to perfect uh, this little, little gadget toy here, but hey, it still was a good purchase. So your child is going to stand up on this part here. Um, so you want to make sure that when they're on it, that when they're on it, that they're, that the lights are facing forward. So they will be actually facing this direction of the camera and their back foot goes on their as they press their foot forward these little things here you see that they like buttons they they go down so as they move their feet forward like that and put pressure on this part with their their toes it is going to move forward okay all right and as they put pressure on their heel and put the heel pressure on this part it's going to go backwards and it's pretty much the same thing same thing on the other side so it's pretty good now it gets a little tricky if your child wants to turn with it you have to maneuver your body in a certain way to get the kind of turn um for the parents i really want to say this me being the overprotective loving dad that i am uh, I will say, parents, please supervise your child with us because I don't want any of them to get hurt or get injured. Uh, you want to make sure. And I know that there might be some people who will say that, well, it's just self-explanatory. It's easy. It isn't a big deal. Again, please, if your child has just now purchased this, teach them how to use it effectively, kind of be kind of supervised them extremely well just so they don't get hurt or or injured but once they master it it takes about maybe a few hours and sometimes even a few days depending upon how fast the child learns to really learn and get acclimated with with this because it can be difficult at first if they've never really had a hoverboard before so you want to monitor them and be there with them kind of hold their hand through it guide them through it and make sure that they have on safety equipment and stuff like that and yeah, and this works really good on either smooth concrete or driveway or even um, hardwood floors in the house, which is where which is where I initially trained my daughter at on the hardwood floors. We have a, a game room here and it's huge and we can have her train there uh, before she goes outside with it. Uh, maximum weight is one hundred and thirty pounds so you want to make sure you stay within that uh as far as how fast it goes uh five miles per hour so it can go um that's how that's how fast it goes okay so it the battery lasts for a good little minute um she hasn't really drained the battery yet as she's on it she'll get on it for maybe uh 20 30 minutes here and get off of it but this is a really good purchase i'm i'm glad that i was able to find this this was the last one that walmart had not too bad for 118 dollars there are some that are a little bit cheaper that we chose not to get but what i love about this voyager hoverboard here is that it is very durable i mean this thing is this thing weighs it's like lifting a weight it definitely weighs a good little bit this is very extremely durable really durable and i love that part there the, the wheels do light up and let me turn that on for you you can see for yourself so the wheels do light up there and of course it's not doing it that time but these wheels do light up and this is a really good little gadget for the kids to have so for those of you who are wondering um you know should we go out and get this yeah it's it's really good see the, it's just this is a cool thing man like i really love this thing see that the wheels there i love that good little thing good little thing it does some does some awesome things so you definitely want to go out and get this if you're in the market 
for one. And what I love about this is that this is why I love to re review things. And this is why I do a lot of business at Walmart because I knew when I first bought this that if she didn't like it because of Walmart's uh, user-friendly policy, I could bring it back and we can say, hey, let's get to something else. We understand that there are several hoverboards out there and Voyager definitely takes care of it. It does it for my daughter. And if she's happy, hey, I'm happy. You know, happy daughter, happy dad. So uh, it's definitely a good thing. And this is good to build a kid's confidence, teaches them, you know, there are uh, a lot of little things that they can learn, awareness, uh, get some exercise and, and teaches them, you know, paying, paying attention to detail, things of that nature. This is a really cool little thing. And I wish I had something like this when I was growing up. I feel like kids these days have the little, all the most awesomest little gadgets that I wish we had when I was growing up. But um, yeah, you know, I guess I'll live through them. But yeah, this is pretty cool. So um, you get your lights here flashing. The wheels will light up on the side there. And I'm going to try that one more time. That was kind of cool. I like that. And the wheels lit up. There it is. Oh, man, I love that right there. That's smooth. I love that. So I... Uh, I love that. I'm a geek when it comes to these things, and even though it's for it's for the kiddos, I haven't purchased myself one yet. Uh, this is pretty, pretty, pretty good to uh, have. So again, um, read the, the instructions as you get it. Uh, again, when they get on it, make sure that their 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 face is they step on it facing in this direction. So you can see the little lights there. Uh, you don't want them going on the opposite end. Uh, their feet should be always facing, their toes should be facing the lights. Their toes should be right above the lights here. Uh, again, as they put pressure here on that part there, the uh, wheels are going to move. As they put pressure on the back part, this part here is going to move back, which now again, if they want to turn with it, they have to lean their body to the side and and move their feet to make it do in that direction. So it's going to take them a minute to get acclimated to it. But there are some kids that learn quick. And uh, I am very pleased with this. Again, it's really a low risk purchase because, hey, if you don't like it, just bring it back to Walmart with your receipt. OK, and they'll give you a gladly give you your money back within the time frame. So Voyager really made a pretty good little product, man. I love it. Um, not too bad. Again, here's your recap. It goes five miles per hour with the three mile range of uh, 6.3 uh, tires. Max weight is 130 pounds. So grown ups, if you're above that, do not break your child's toy. OK, <laughs> I'm just joking with you. But seriously, don't break it. All right. Uh, so because uh, I was going to step on it one time and I'm like 6'5", 250 pounds. I'm a big dude. I'm like, you know what? I'm, a, I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to tear up her toy. So, yeah, this is pretty good. And uh, you have remember, it comes with a charger here. Read your instructions. There's a little instruction booklet that comes with it. And um, make sure that you um, get it calibrated uh, when you first uh, turn it on. There will be some directions on that as well. So pink. Yeah, I mean, that pink color, I think, was the only color I saw. But she likes that color. And uh, cool little things for kids. Like Voyager, really, um, they really catered to uh, they really catered to the kiddos here. They really did with those lights. Kids love lights that light up and the, the uh, lights on the wheels. And even that the design was smooth. I love that. I'm such a geek when it comes to these things. I love that the design there. This is really swagged out. You know, this is a swagged out thing. Very durable. I love the thick tread on the tires. Nice thick tread there. And also for those of you who want to actually see, um, you know, you want to see live footage of of a kid on this. There are channels out there that have kids that is on this. For those of you who want to get a deeper analyst of how it looks when somebody's on it. And I encourage you 
you know, feel free to do that. Learn as much as you can. As you drop by my channel, feel free to look at other channels as well that have a kid writing this, which gives you more of a deeper understanding of how it looks when they're when they're actually on it. I'm just giving a basic review of it because my daughter's still learning and it'll be very difficult to hold the phone while I'm trying to to teach her on this. But this is just a simple real view so for those of you who've uh, seen this in the store and you've wondered hmm should i get it is it worth the investment um yeah i believe it is voyager really delivered and along with uh, walmart's easy return policy which you have your receipt within the time frame of 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 the return stipulations again it's a low risk purchase so yeah for those of you who've seen this yes it is definitely worth giving it a try it can't hurt to try it out and see if your child would like it pink always a nice color for uh for uh the uh kiddos girls in particular but hey if you like that color whatever floats your boat fine with me it's all about fun so um you know i hope i i've covered everything and but one thing that did stand out, it is extremely durable. I love that. This can really, this this hoverboard can really last for quite a while. This just made with so much good quality. I love that. When I make purchases, I love when I see something that's durable. Strong, thick, you know, thick tread tires on this, this thing. This thing is really nice, man. It's truly nice. Nice, 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 nice. So... Um, also, this is going to keep the uh, kiddos busy, and uh, that's always a good thing. So, you know, not only is it important for me to share my thoughts, I'm also curious to know what are your, your thoughts. For those of you who purchased it, please feel free to comment below. Let me know what were the pros or the cons. Um, let me know what did you like about it and what didn't you like about it. And you know, I do read the comments in my free moments. This is a new channel and I'm trying to build this. Do something positive for the online community. That's that's important to me. You know, keeping it smooth and professional for uh, the uh, viewers out there like myself that likes that type of positive con informative content. There's an audience for for that. And uh, YouTube is definitely evident of that. So, uh, again, I hope that something was, you know, said or mentioned that would answer any questions that you may have. Also, uh, I've also put up my um, my email address, superhubbyreview22 at Gmail. It can be found in the about section of my channel. Again, uh, feel free to shoot me an email anytime you like about any questions you may or comments you may have about any of the things that I have review feel free to shoot me an email um so again thank you so much for dropping by super hubby review and i also thank you in advance for subscribing to my channel hitting that notification bell and i will continue to put up product based content in my free moment so until next time remember live love and laugh keep that faith no matter what. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe and goodbye.